Oh, good morning and rise and shine. Thanks a lot for tuning in for a look at your national severe weather threats on this Thursday, March 26. Looking ahead, because there's always going to be a tomorrow. Flipping our calendar in April, colder than average from Atlanta to the Great Lakes, warmer than average for Florida and for much of the western half of the United States, excluding the Seattle area. Uh, for highs today, sizzling away in near record heat for the likes of Houston near 90, near that in Dallas as well. Spots like the Panhandle should make it in the low to mid 90s for spots like Lubbock, Texas, Miami, portions of Florida, upper 80s and low 90s will sweat away as well as we got above average temperatures all the way as far north as St. Louis. So be mindful of the heat. Maybe it's the weather telling us to social distance and just stay inside and enjoy some air conditioning. Be mindful though, America's heartland. We do have an area low pressure sparking up a potential of severe weather. Fairly high potential of large hail with some stronger storms. So there's a slight risk out south of Kansas City, west of St. Louis. But be weather aware today and tonight out there. Watching for severe weather in similar areas for Friday. And then a cold front brings in a widespread marginal to slight risk of severe weather. Basically along and near the Mississippi River on Saturday. So a trio of chances of severe storms. Out west still watching some heavy snow, mainly in the mountains. Basically through the weekend could see one to two feet in some of the higher elevations again to the Cascades. Some areas of the Rockies will watch for some snow. Cheyenne might see about five inches overnight into the day tomorrow. And then later Friday nights, maybe a coating or so near areas of the Rockies like Denver and Colorado Springs. So for travel weather, be mindful of storms near St. Louis, snow and very gusty winds out west. We got red flag warnings for wildfire potential east and southeast of Denver today because of that. So if you are an emergency vehicle, a truck driver, drive especially safely and for everybody else, let them do their work on the road. They got important jobs in these troubling times and we'll watch for more rain and snow up north tomorrow.